It's turkey time. We had Paul Perdomo on earlier this week, and he did a turkey stuffed with garlic. I mean, it was just fantastic. But it's nothing compared to what we have now. It's a, <laughs> we have our own turkey here on the set here live in L.A. because we have our own in-house gourmet chef. And he is well-known. He is an internationally renowned or renown. Both. Both. <laughs> and he has written this book. It's called The Canned Bean Cookbook. Yeah. And I'll tell Where you. Where are you showing this? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. There it there is. It Isn't is. that beautiful, It's Cindy? wonderful, and it's in four stores throughout your area. <laughs> this is Tommy. Thank Tommy you. Chasek. Welcome Thank to the you, show, Cindy. Tommy. Thank you, Thank you. Listen, yes. Thanksgiving. What? Right around the corner, right? I know. I try to get, slip by it. <laughs> no, we've got so much to be thankful for. We do. Yes, you've got a great family. I do. And what I have to be thankful for is beans. And everyone should be thankful for beans out there. No, it's true. Should they, I hug him now? Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I join that little contest? Anyway, <laughs> beans are full of protein, right? They're very low in fat, low in calories, and best of all, they're versatile. I want to show you what I'm going to make for you today. Take a look at this. Isn't this fantastic? This is no, that's this Paul is my bean, turkey. This is no, this may be his turkey. This is my stuffing. <laughs> yeah. That is my that is my bean stuffing. You know, I use beans and stuffing because a lot of people like to use sausage, but the sausage is too fat. Two yes. cups of sausage is over a hundred grams of fat. Two cups of beans is less than two grams of fat, and I cannot that's wait. Important. To, yeah, very Tell that the chorus leads. Very important. important. Well, she should know. She probably she already know. knows. Yes. She knows everything. Let's go over the ingredients first. <laughs> First thing we need is... Do a, I know you? You do. <laughs> okay. First thing we need is a half cup of butter. Now, you can use margarine if you like, or if yeah. you don't want any fat, you can saute in things like grape juice. Yeah, yeah? Yep. Next thing we've got here is one large onion chopped. I love the flavor of the onion, and I love the crunchiness. We also have two large cloves of garlic, and garlic is great for the blood. You know, it thins it, it gets terrific. You live alone, don't you, Tom? Yes, I do. <laughs> so do you. Yes, I do. <laughs> 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 Next thing we'll need is two stalks of celery chopped. Also, two cups of beans, canned beans, rinsed and drained. Now, I'm using butter beans. Those butter beans, by the way, they were born in Central America, <gasps> later traveled to Peru. In fact, they're, na they're also known as lima beans. They were named after the capital of Peru. We also have black beans, and we also have garbanzo beans, which, by the That's way... a better social life than I do. Well, you'll have a great <laughs> social life with garbanzo beans, because garbanzo beans are a known aphrodisiac. Yeah, here, taste. Feel it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Cindy, that's enough. All right. Okay. All right. One third cup of chicken broth. One I know large him. He box can push me around. Of stuffing cubes. All right. One half teaspoon of oregano, and it's very simple and easy. Let's get started here. Cindy, Let's why don't you do hand, it. hand me my onion, please. Your onion. You've already got the butter in there. Got the butter. Okay. Oh, shh. Hear that sizzle and spit? Sizzling sound. Yes. Now Is let's, electricity off again let's today? Put, no, it's beautiful. Look at that frying right up there, sauteing. You want to saute this? See our overhand head camera here? Okay. Yes, yes, it's terrific. No, I'll show them. Doesn't that look great? Looks okay. good. Okay, you put in your celery. <laughs> That's great, Cindy. Cindy, you don't cook often, do you? <laughs> I do this so people invite me out. Oh, okay. Right. Now, just put that in there. Yeah. Now, okay, look at that. Now, doesn't that look terrific? Now, you just stir this up for a little bit. Not yet. Slow down, Cindy. Slow down. By the way, who are you spending Thanksgiving with? My best friend Maureen's, uh, Maureen and Eric Lash are their book agents and their gourmet cooks, and they really take pity on me at Thanksgiving. All right. Well, uh, if you're having family like yes, that, I am. you you want to make sure that well you take care of the, you know, the bean problem. Well, I want to ask you something. There's so much going on at Thanksgiving. Families are arguing with each other. People aren't invited. Some people are invited. They don't like where they sit. They don't like the food. Do we have to add the bean problem to the okay. whole thing? <laughs> the bean. All right. Problem. Now, what Cindy's talking about is gas and and she knows what she's talking about <laughs> so let, let me let me just say well i've worked with you for a little while you know and it's now, that coffee I'm, in the morning isn't it Tom? it's that cup of coffee in it's, the morning it's the coffee it's the broccoli it's the beans oh. it, i'll tell you why it happens a lot beans contain complex sugars they can't be broken down no. let's move on let's Moving put on. our stuffing our this? stuffing mix the you broth. can yeah yep yeah, all that goes in put it all in here all right, it doesn't it really matter here. yep absolutely your father's put it all an attorney in Yes, my father's an attorney. And your mother was a what? My mother a was a professor at San Jose State. In fact, she wrote the first textbook on business machines. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? What happened now, to you, Tom? No, and there's eight kids in the family. There's eight kids? Mm-hmm, yeah. And when did beans into your life again? Uh, <laughs> what's that? What lonely part of your life did beans <laughs> I'm not lonely. You're not lonely with eight kids. That's true. Right. That's true. Do you cook for your family? I, I cook for my family all the time. Do you bring yep. them little individual beanos yeah, and put it by I, their napkin? Everyone gets a beano, absolutely. Now, what you want to do is right. you just want to cool this down for a while. Okay? Now, the next thing you do is you take your turkey while that's cooling, and you want to make sure you remove everything from your turkey, like the gizzards, oh, really? etc. Yes. Yeah, so pull, <sighs> pull the gizzards out. And what's this? What's this? 
something else in it. Oh, my book. <laughs> <laughs> my book. Okay, move over there. Now, Have you been raiding the bonds and the hues yeah. throughout the Southland? Cindy, come here. Now, I want to show you, first of all, really quick, how to mass you want to massage your turkey and oh, all I of always want this, to. Yes, absolutely. Massage <laughs> it, Cindy. Massage it. That's very Is nice. Is this going to help yeah, me on yeah. my date? <laughs> yes. Has this got anything to do with my date? <laughs> okay. I well, don't know. Very good. Now, once you massage that, that'll make the turkey nice and tender. You simply take your stuffing mix, which is all cool. I like Tommy's like a body blocker cook, you know? <laughs> uh, you just stuff it in there. Stuff it. Just load the turkey. No, slowly load the turkey. Slowly load the turkey. Slowly loading okay, the turkey. Okay, I'll tell you what, Cindy. All you do after that, you cook your turkey like you would That's in your normal turkey. recipe, and we taste. Let's taste, Cindy. I can't hold anything. You taste, have to feed that. me. Wait a minute. Oh, is that? Yeah. It's oh, a Steve. bean taste. It's a bean kind of thing. Oh, wait a second. Yes. Boy, oh, I've tasted your bean stuff yes, a lot Steve, through the years. You'll love it. That's good. Isn't that great? That's damn bean turkey. Tommy, Thanks, that's everybody. Good. That's Thanks. good. Tommy Chastik, the bean gourmet. Yeah, and, and the book is on the hotline. The book is on the hotline, too. If you missed anything on today's show, you can get all the details by calling our hotline anytime today, 213-960-3615. If you'd like to be a member of our studio audience, call us at 213-960-3654. We'll be back in a moment.